Dr. Macon, founder of the Health and Wellness Institute of Utah. In this clip, I'm going to be talking about how to differentiate a, an injury between muscle or joint, or in other words, sprain versus strain. Here's what you'll learn. What makes up a joint? How to identify or differentiate between a strain versus a sprain injury? And ideal treatments for your condition. However, first and foremost, in any case of injury, please get checked out by your physician. He'll be able to guide you on what, what to do to heal and, and avoid further injury to your body or joint. Okay, so what makes up a joint? Well, we've got bones, ligaments, muscles, tendons, and cartilage are the basics of a joint. Okay, as you can see here, we've got lines connecting showing you where each one is. Okay, so we have two bones come together, meet together, and that's where the joint is. The ligaments hold those bones together and support the, the joint. Okay, ligaments com connect bone to bone. Then you have your muscles. Muscles move the joint and uh, move the bones. Muscles move bones. Bones don't just move themselves. Tendons connect the muscles to the bone. And cartilage is inside the joint and connects to the bone and protects the bone from rubbing on other bone. Now it's very important to realize that poor bone alignment or imbalances in the muscles cause improper biomechanics, similar to having a bad hinge. Let's say you bend your door hinge. Well now all of a sudden that door isn't going to open and close properly and you're going to have further problems down the road. Okay, um, so addressing the, the alignment and the balance of the muscles is very important in making sure that the joint's working properly. Because as you can see, here, improper biomechanics leads to joint destruction and pain. Okay, and down the road you may end up with arthritis or some really serious problems, uh, maybe even torn ligaments and torn cartilage. Okay, so let's talk about how to identify strain versus sprain. A strain injury is an injury to the muscle fibers, so you're going to feel that when you use that particular muscle. A sprain injury is injury to the ligaments and joint capsule, the things inside the joint. Um, so it's going to be a little bit deeper pain, sometimes kind of a sharp pain, um, but you're going to feel that inside your joint. Okay, a strain typically hurts worse with active motion. Active motion is when whoever's limb or joint you're trying to move, when that person is using his or her own muscles to move that joint. On the, the adverse side, passive motion is when somebody else is helping you move your joint. Okay, so a sprain typically hurts regardless of the type of motion, and you'll also notice a loss of stability. So a strain is going to hurt more when you use your muscle to move a joint or a limb, versus a sprain is going to hurt regardless of who is moving it. Okay, um, let's talk about some ideal treatments for your condition. So sprain injuries, obviously you're going to focus more on the joint and, and fixing the joint. Joints typically don't have as much blood supply as muscles, so there's going to be specific therapies that are going to be included in that. A strain is going to focus more on fixing the muscles. Our first goal is to reduce swelling using RICE. Okay, RICE stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. You're going to ideally use a wrap, some type of ACE wrap bandage, um, to apply ice for about 15 to 20 minutes. You're going to rest it compress it using that ACE bandage and then elevate it. Secondly, you would like to increase healing in the joint or in the strain or sprain. This is typically done using passive therapies. Passive therapies are used by chiropractors and physical therapists and typically include cold laser, um, electrical modalities, ultrasound, and some of those other therapies. Okay, so again we see the word passive, that means somebody else is doing it for you. Um, Thirdly, we would like to restore the strength to the joint or to the injury. This is done using active therapies. So those are therapies where the patient is going to be exercising those muscles, toning those muscles, and doing the, the therapies then, um, with their own uh, motion and own strength. Okay, An important part of active therapy is increasing proprioception. Proprioception are the signals that your body senses the position and what's going on in the joint sends the signals up to the brain and then the brain can control that joint properly. Okay, so here's a list um, of some of the latest and best technologies that are used today in, in healing sprains and strains. 
Um, as you can see, the, some of them are bolded. These are some of the therapies that we like to use in our office because we get better results with them. But all these therapies are, are great technology, cutting edge, and work very well. So as you can see, cold laser, decompression, post-isometric contraction, chiropractic, acupuncture, physical therapy exercises, neuromuscular education, nutrition, and percussion therapy are also some of the things that we like to focus in in our office on. We also use massage and traction, light and sound therapy, and um, electrical stimulation and, and all these other therapies. But the bolded ones are some of the ones that we like to, to focus on, as well as visualization. That's the conclusion of this presentation. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that we shared something of value and that you learned something. If you have any further questions, or if we can help you, specifically in our clinic, please give us a call at 801-709-9797, or you can check out our website with the information here. Thank you, and good luck, and God bless.